Well, we're back, and I've gotten uh, quite a few requests to do uh, a video where we kind of draw free energy curves. So let's go ahead and say I asked you to draw the free energy diagram at this particular isotherm, this temperature. So how do we want to kind of identify what's happening here? So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to call this uh, single phase region my red phase. So this would be my, basically red is equal to my MO phase. And then I see I have a two-phase region here of MO plus MO2ZR. And I'm going to call my this my MO2ZR phase here. And then I have, so we'll kind of label this my blue region here. And then I'm going to call this beta. Beta is going to be equal to this green. So as I pass along here, I cross through several different kind of distinct points or liquidus lines, solidus lines, etc. So I cross through here to here, excuse me, and forget about that email. <laughs> Always pop up when you're doing these. Uh, yeah, I don't want to pop up anything. So I cross through a number of kind of key points here. So this is like at, let's say this is at 2%. This looks like at 1, 2, th let's say this is 33. This is around 40. And then I cross through these different regions. Let's say this is 80. So as I'm drawing my free energy curves, so Gibbs is a function of my atomic percent ZR, so X, whatever. So I'm going to say this is going to be you know, my two line, then I have 33, then I have 40, then I have 80. And you kind of kind of treat these as these dashed lines. So here I am pure red phase, single phase region here. In between I am blue plus, or actually red, plus blue here. I'm in a two phase region. Here, from 33 to 40, I am pure blue. And then when I cross over there, now I am green plus blue. And then finally, after 80, I am pure green in this, at this temperature. So I'm going to have three uh, phases here uh, that I'm going to have to draw. And additionally, I know in these two phase regions, I need a... Uh, basically a common tangent. So I'm going to go ahead and draw like kind of a, a guided common tangent like right here. So again, it doesn't really have to, it doesn't matter kind of like the slopes or kind of, uh, we're just drawing all this relative. So I know that this is my lowest energy curve here. So in this single phase region, this needs to be my lowest energy. So I'm going to draw here. It's going to have this common tangent for this red region and then it's just going to kind of increase into infinity. So this kind of makes sense, right? I'm the lowest energy here. Actually, we'll look at it at the very end. Now, I know here that my blue needs to be higher in this region, but then I also need to kind of have this kind of common tangent value right here. And then green is, or blue is going to be here. And then let's just say that the slope looks like, like this right here. I'm going to actually redraw, excuse me, the, I'm going to draw my common tangent slope kind of something like this. Oops, undo that switch to purple. So this is my common tangent here. This is my common tangent right here. So trying to draw a common tangent work. Again, common tangents, what it means here is that my chemical potential in my MO is equal to my chemical potential in my MO2ZR. And here, chemical potential of beta is equal to chemical potential of my uh, MO2ZR. So, these are kind of my slopes. All right, so now I just need my last one. So, I know that this is going to start up pretty high here. Or actually, my, uh, let me get my green. So, it's going to start up pretty high here. And then, oops, green, not orange. So, it's going to start off pretty high here. Again, still high, still high. And now I'm going to have the common tangent because, again, I'm in a two-phase region right here. And then, I'm low here. That's it. Let's check. So here, I'm in a single phase region. What's the lowest curve? Red. So that's my single phase region. What about here? Well, I'm in two phase equilibrium between red, or you know, blue, and red. <laughs> you know, here. I can't, I can't distinguish colors right now. Um, so I'm in a two phase region, so I have a common tangent. So this is my lowest energy state, the phase separated red and blue region. What about this middle region here? Well, I'm pure blue. Look it, this is my lowest energy curve. This is higher, this is higher. The next region, 
right here, which is what we're talking about in here. Now I have a common tangent. And again, what's the lowest energy state? It's the phase separation between blue and green now. So this common tangent line. And then finally, the last region when I'm just in pure, you know, green, this is the lowest, then blue, red, that's it. We're done. That's how you draw free energy curves. So uh, I might now put this on an exam since you all uh, requested this video. I know, I'm so mean. I'll see you all in the next video and on our review session. Thanks. Bye.